Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we have some Titanfall 2. We are playing the second weekend of the Titanfall 2 multiplayer tech test, playing on the brand new map, playing the game of Bounty Hunt here. And I hope you guys will sit back, relax, and enjoy the gameplay because it's a pretty good one. Lots of kills, lots of action. I really enjoyed this particular match. But today I want to talk about something a little bit more serious. I want to talk about the idea of whether or not Titanfall 2 should actually be delayed. Now, I've talked in the comments with my subscribers on this very idea a number of times, and I thought I would actually make an entire video dedicated to this idea. I feel as though Titanfall 2 should be delayed. I don't think it should come out on October 28th when they plan to have it come out, and that's for a number of reasons. It's not necessarily because of the lack of content, it's not necessarily because the game is bad, but it's more or less EA seems to be feeding this game to the wolves. If you guys don't know, 2016 is going to be remembered, in my opinion anyway, as the year of the shooter. We have already seen the release of two wildly popular shooter games here in 2016. So you have Doom, which came out, which is met with really good praise. Everyone loved the single player. There's still people to this day that love playing the multiplayer. It's a pretty popular game. And then, of course, you have Overwatch, which is heralded by most people as the game of the year. It's ridiculously popular. Everybody seems to love Overwatch. On September 20th, we're going to see the newest expansion coming to Destiny, Rise of Iron. On October 11th, we're going to see the release of Gears of War 4. 10 days later, we're going to see the release of Battlefield 1, which is another EA game. And then seven days after the release of Battlefield 1 is when they plan to release Titanfall 2. You already have all these ridiculously popular shooter games coming out right before Titanfall 2. And then right after Titanfall 2, on November 4th, you have Infinite Warfare as well as Modern Warfare Remastered coming out. I don't see the reason why EA would want to feed Titanfall 2 to the wolves like this, right? It's a game that I think is going to be popular. I think Titanfall 2 is a fun game. I enjoy playing it, but I don't think that it can compete with the rest of these shooter games. People out there have a limited gaming budget. They need to make a decision as to whether or not they're going to purchase this game over this game. If they're going to buy a shooter game, which game is it going to be? Are they going to be buying Battlefield 1, Titanfall 2, or Call of Duty Infinite Warfare? It's a big decision. Are they going to get the new expansion for Destiny? Are they going to be going back to Gears of War? Maybe they want to purchase games that have already been out, like Doom or Overwatch. People have a limited budget when it comes to gaming. Now, for me personally, I'm a YouTuber, right? This is all a business expense for me. I can buy every shooter game that comes out this year. That's all fine for me. But your average consumer can't be purchasing all of these games. Therefore, they're going to have to make a decision. And while I feel as though Titanfall 2 is a fun game, it still has a number of problems that remain from the original Titanfall, i.e. it has a lack of content. Now, of course, it's going to be a little bit different this year. There is going to be a single player campaign, but to my understanding, there won't be any kind of a co-op experience. There's going to be a single player campaign, and then there is going to be the multiplayer experience. A lot of people have been happy, myself included, with the multiplayer experience that we've seen so far here in the tech test, but a lot of people are also upset that the game doesn't have a lot of content to it, i.e. there's only a couple of Titans right now. If the original Titanfall's beta was in the indicator, then most of the stuff that we see in the Titanfall 2 tech test right now is going to be most of the content that's going to be in the game itself. Therefore, there isn't a lot of weapons in this game. There isn't going to be a lot of Titans in this game, and that's something that they could definitely fix by going ahead and delaying the game. I feel as though Titanfall 2 should release in March like the original Titanfall did. If you guys don't remember, the original Titanfall released on March 11th of 2014. This was really smart by either EA or Respawn or maybe a combination of the two because they were releasing in the middle of the life cycle of all the games that released during the holiday season. I could definitely see why studios would want to release their game during the holiday season. That's when people are spending a lot more money. But again, there are so many shooter games out there right now that I don't feel as though Titanfall 2 is going to be able to compete with the rest of them, especially another EA title like Battlefield 1, Gears of War, Infinite Warfare, which is going to be coming with Modern Warfare Remastered. I just, if you really think about it, Respawn Entertainment, the people that made Call of Duty 4, are really going to be competing with the game that they made about 10 years ago. It's really funny if you think of it that way. So I feel as though they should definitely release in March because at that point in the year, people are looking for something new, right? Even the most diehard of Call of Duty fans by March is going to be a little bit bored of that game, right? You're max rank in the game probably by that point. You've probably beaten the campaign and gotten a lot of the achievements. You've probably played a lot of zombies at that point. And by March, you're really kind of looking for other games to play. So I think that would be be a perfect time for Respawn to actually release Titanfall 2. I mean, look what happened with Doom and Overwatch. These are two games that are really popular that actually sold very well 
Both of them released in May. They weren't trying to compete with Call of Duty. They weren't trying to compete with Battlefield or Gears of War or anything like that. They released mid-year, and as a result, both of those games were pretty successful. And I think that is what they need to do with Titanfall 2. Don't try to compete with Battlefield. Don't try and compete with Call of Duty. Honestly, more studios need to do that because these are two giant juggernauts in the shooter market. And if you try to compete with them, you can probably sell well, but you're not going to do as well as you could if you were just to simply delay your game and release it kind of mid-year. I think it's safe to say that this may actually be Respawn's last chance with the Titanfall franchise. I don't think that they will continue making this series if they keep releasing it to a mediocre reception. The original Titanfall was really hyped, but it had a pretty mediocre reception when it actually came out because there wasn't a lot in that game. And if Titanfall 2 comes out, again, trying to compete with all of these juggernauts in the shooter, in the shooter genre, then I think think that they're not going to sell very well. I think they're going to have another mediocre reception and therefore they may not actually make Titanfall games going forward. They may actually just move on to something different. One of the things that they could actually do if they delay this game until March is they could continue working on it. They could continue adding things to the game. Even rehashing old stuff I think people would be okay with. Like if all the game modes from the original Titanfall aren't slated to be in Titanfall 2, they need to be. Add them in there. Make sure they're all in there. Make sure attrition's in there along with Bounty Hunt. You know, don't make us actually pick between the two. If they want to add in some of the Titans, for example, from the original Titanfall, I think people would like that as well. Right now, we have two Titans available to us in the tech test, and if history is an indicator, there's probably going to be at least one more in the full version of Titanfall 2. Why not have a bunch of them? Add in the Strider, add in the Ogre, add in all these old school ones from the original Titanfall. I think people would like that. Add in some of the anti-Titan weapons, add in some more of the actual primary weapons from the original Titanfall. Just transfer it all over into Titanfall 2. Add more stuff to your game. I think it would definitely benefit them greatly if they were to have extra time to work on their game, add more features, and polish it up a little bit, and then release it in March when they're not competing with Battlefield 1, Gears of War, Destiny, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and ironically, the game that they made almost 10 years ago, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. I don't think it's a good idea for Titanfall 2 to try to compete against them. If you look at any poll online, which I've ran some on my personal Twitter, I've seen other people running them on their Twitters, asking which game are they most excited for between, you know, Infinite Warfare, Titanfall 2, and Battlefield 1, Titanfall 2 is always the least voted for because it just is so hard to compete. And again, your average consumer can't buy every shooter game that comes out. In a perfect world, we all have Battlefield and Call of Duty and Gears of War and Destiny and Titanfall 2. We have all these games, right? But that's not the world that we live in. People have a limited gaming budget. They kind of have to pick between which games they actually want to play. And I don't see a scenario where oftentimes people are going to pick Titanfall 2 over Juggernaut's like Battlefield and the Call of Duty franchise. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to conclude this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, please drop me a rating and let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts on the idea of Titanfall 2 actually being delayed until at least March, because I personally think it'd be a good idea. But of course, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Maybe as somebody who pre-ordered, you wouldn't like that because you pre-ordered the game, you planned on getting it in October, or at the end of October rather, and then maybe having to delay that all the way until March. I think people would be upset with that. So maybe they could incentivize people that have already pre ordered by giving them extra bonus stuff for having to wait until March. I don't know what they could do, but let me know in the comments what you guys think. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Drop me a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.